guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So good to see you here again. So today we are going to visit one of the most dreaded yoga poses, Alolasana. And I really wish she wasn't so dreaded because she's an incredible strength building posture. So if it's very, very hard for you to work in Alolasana and you've done it before, feel free to grab a couple of blocks to give yourself a little bit of height. But if you don't need them, by all means, no blocks needed. You don't have to have them. Just sometimes having a little bit of height helps you get um, those shins up off the ground, which is always the hardest for everybody. So let's start with just using the blocks if you have them. Sitting down on the shins like I am now, blocks or hands are just outside of the thighs, just slightly behind the knees. And we're gonna work on just pushing ourselves up. So low belly pulls in, shoulders come slightly forward, and we push the ground away that allows the knees to float up. Let's just hold it here, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower back down, stretch out the wrist, give them a little shake. All right, so now we're gonna work on a, just a single-sided lift. So we're gonna push into the top of the right foot and lift the left foot up towards the bum. So let's do that same thing that we did last time. Press into the top of the right and lift the left. All right, so knees come up, right foot stays down, left foot lifts. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, of course we gotta do the other side, right? Remember when we're doing this, to keep rounding through that upper back, so protracting the shoulder blades. Push the floor away. The second you stop pushing, you're coming down. Low belly has to pull in in order to think of that compression, the thighs coming towards the low belly. All right, let's do the other side. So now we're gonna push into the top of the left foot. Let the right toes rise up. All right, push. Left foot stays down, right foot floats up. One, two, three, four, five. You got this, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Very good. All right, now we're gonna try something I like to call Lola snaps. So we're just gonna come up and down. We're not gonna hold anything. We're just doing this, a quick movement to gain strength. So I'm gonna turn to the side here so that you can see. You don't really need your blocks for this, but if you like using them, you can. Just make sure that they're nice and good and they're not gonna slide around on you. So a mat would be helpful. So again, my hands are just outside of the knees, pushing the floor away. Low belly sucks in. I'm on the tops of the feet. So, but if that really hurts, you can always tuck your toes underneath you, but I don't really love that. It makes things a little bit easier because then you can use the strength of your legs. So if you can, try to point your toes back behind you and know that also you're gaining flexibility through the feet and it will get easier with time, I promise. All right, so hands come down, low belly sucks, shoulders push, upper back rounds. All right, what we're gonna do is 10 times, we're gonna push the floor away, knees come in towards chest, and I'm gonna drop my head in and come back down, but I'm not gonna rest. So we're gonna do that 10 times pretty quickly, low left snaps, both legs at the same time. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ah, okay, lower down. All right, so now we're gonna do the second version of this where we just use one leg at a time. So just like we did originally, we're gonna keep the right foot down, left foot is gonna lift up towards the bum, and we're gonna do those snaps just like we did before, but with just one leg to give us that strength. All right, hands are down, shoulders push, low belly sucks. All right, keep that right foot down, be ready to pull that left foot in towards the bum. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, so much harder with just one foot. And the second side. Okay, this time the left foot's gonna stay down, down, and the right foot is gonna lift with us. All right, here we go. Ready, one, Two, three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, almost there, eight, nine, ten. Oh, very good. All right, so now we're gonna work on finding that full lolasana hold. If your wrists are getting a little grumpy at you, make sure you give them some counter pressure. Stretching them, you could back sides of the hands down, palms up, give them a little stretch, lean away a little bit. We always listen to the wrists. So if they say, you're done, you're done. If you got a little bit more in you though, let's go for it. So you can use your blocks or not. Again, that's optional. Maybe we start with them and then we slowly work towards getting rid of them. What do you think? Let's do it. All right, so the tricks with Lola. Are you have to think, pull the heels towards the bum. You have to think thighs compressed towards the chest. Squeeze everything in and use the strength of your pelvic floor. Lift your pelvic floor as if you were trying to stop the flow of urine. Really scoop and hollow out your low belly and round through the spine. Round that upper back as you push the floor away. All right, so let's give it a go. Hands come down. I like to stay on the tops of my feet at first. And then as I shift forward, pick up one, then the other. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly lower down. Let's do it again. Shaking out the wrist. Oh, such a great way to build strength through the shoulders. Getting used to stay on the hands. Finding that core when you're balancing. All right, here we go. Let's do it again. Push the hands into the floor to the blocks. Shoulders will slightly come forward. Let the knees float up. All right, lift one foot, then the other. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, there you go. All right, now let's try for that full lolasana. Gonna get rid of the blocks. The strength has to come from deep, deep inside of you. And there has to be a little bit of grit that I'm not gonna quit, I'm not gonna give up when things get hard. If you tell yourself, oh, I'm never gonna do it, you're not. You're never gonna do it. You've already made up your mind. So make up your mind instead. I can do this, I am capable. My body can do these amazing things. Maybe I can't do it today, but I'll keep doing the drills, I'll keep building the strength, and I will be there. Tell yourself that story. Don't even bother with the story of, I can't, I never will, not in this lifetime. Because then you're right, uh, and what a waste that would be when you totally can. Okay, so that little lecture there, little break, <laughs> but now we're ready to go again. So, bring the hands down. And we're gonna go for that full alasana. So if that means you can fold up, blow, float up both toes, awesome. If you can only lift up one foot at a time, that's okay too. Lift up one foot, then lift up the other make them take turns but let's see what we can do push let the knees come up upper back rounds maybe the toes float five four three compress two one and lower down let's do that two more times because we are what we repeatedly do i say that all the time we are what we repeatedly do excellence then is not a single act it's a habit so make these drills a habit and then they'll be easy for you someday. All right, stretch out the wrist a little bit. We got two more. Push the floor away. I'm gonna go for 10 seconds this time. So I'm warmed up. I'm not ex completely exhausted. Maybe on the last one I'll go back to five, but this one I'm gonna try for 10. You do what you can do. Challenge yourself. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, keep pushing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, see? We can do it. Oh, we set our mind to. We've got one more. We've got one more. So, she got the wrist. Make up your mind. I'm going to do it. Even if I fall, even if I can't get both feet up off the ground, I'm gonna do it. So here we go. Last one all your strength, all your will, all that positivity, you can do anything. Whether it's five seconds, 10 seconds, one second, show up. Here we go. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> you did it. You did it. It doesn't matter what form you did or if you used the blocks or you didn't. You tried. Be proud. You can pat yourself on the back. You did good work. Good job, guys. I'm proud of you. Give this video a thumbs up. That way you can find it again and again. Come back to these drills. Build strength through the shoulders, through the upper back, through the core. And really find that inner strength that's always been inside of you. Proud of you. Good job today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That way we can hang out on our mats all the time. New videos being uploaded very, very regularly. Take care. Namaste.